everyone. This is Charlie and Aaron. Aaron, guess what he designed? He designed the five second, eight bit Charles Veach intro. So thank you very much, Aaron. No worries. Where are we? We're in Piccadilly Gardens. So what are we hunting for? Everything. Crackheads. Crackheads so we're gonna, <laughs> so basically cops turning the camera around without actually having to switch it off. Two police cars, a lot of crowds. We're gonna go have a look, see what they got because on my channel over the last couple of days you've had a lot of uh, theology, religion, spirituality, chat, 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 talk, talk, talk. There was a great comment yesterday. Someone said, 47 second video. It better not just be Charlie joying, joying. I love that word, J-A-W-I-N-G, joying for 47 seconds. And uh, no, it wasn't. It was a lot of prison chat as well. But ladies and gentlemen, you didn't subscribe to my channel. I didn't get the algorithm favor me and have 6,000 new subscribers for you guys to listen to me talk about God. You subscribed for me to antagonize crackheads and go and see what the police are doing. Ah, oh, there. They're coffee and donuts. Hey guys. Oh, good. Just doing some video for my YouTube channel, and if there's police involved, more people click on it. You, you who said that? Who said that? No, you can if you want. Come on. Sorry. What? I don't want to be in your video. Well, you don't have I to. Don't want, well, so, 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 so get me out of it. Or how about you walk, me out of it. walk away, sir? I don't need to walk away. Calm down, people. No, don't touch him. Calm down. He's got the right to film me. He's got the no lawful right to film me. It's all right. Anyway, that's a nice hood you got there. I don't mind. Just don't put it so close to my face, that's all. You see them all? Look at them all. I don't mind. Name's Charlie Veach. Video me all you want. All I ask is, just don't put your hand too close to my face. That's all. Thank you, gentlemen. It's from my YouTube channel. How many subscribers? 162,000. Oh, no. Do you want to be on my channel? No, 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 no. And also, can I? Is there if I put my arm around you? Yeah, close, All right. Close. Okay. Yeah, I want you to close. say, my name is whatever your name is, and you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. I can't say my name, you know. Okay. Say, I'll call you David. Yo, my name's David. David, and you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. Yeah, my name's David, and you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. Thanks, mate. And remember that name. Subscribe to me. I need more subs. Let's come around here. Why are these teenagers all, all hanging out? Yeah. Anyway. So, whilst we're here, let's talk about this. There was a bit of um, drama, drama, D-R-A-M-A, -A, in the auditing community recently. People accusing people of being undercover cops, a lot of paranoia, a lot of rage. So um, this is just Aaron and I to come out as um, undercover MI6 agents. I'm sorry. Agent. Agent. Anyway, there's some big cops over here. What we'll do, we'll rest this on the flashing light so I can get a stable shot of the cops. Here we go. Here we go. And action. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're outside the Halifax Bank of Scotland group and uh, your hourly thing of people fainting, dying, being stabbed, being beaten up, collapsing from drug overdoses. 
it's always the same. And uh, in, in a different city, people might get, you know, a bit shocked by... Hello, mate. No, it's a carry on. Please go past. No problem. People might get shocked by two police seeing if someone's alive. But here in Manchester, people just step over it. Just carry on. No problem. And one thing I will say to all the viewers watching this, you know, some people are against the police in general, but different police in different parts of the country have different tasks. Like, um, your average cops that say work in, say, York or Harrogate or um, other posh parts of the country, not just up north, it's different policing than city centre Manchester, which is, look at the people watching, look at this, look at this. It's different here, and so I do feel a bit sorry for the police. They certainly have to earn their money here, whereas some cops in other counties just sit and try and catch motorists for speeding. I think they just need to check he's uh, conscious. I'll come around and get a different angle. Well, the policeman's placed him in the recovery position. He appears to be alive but unconscious. And I've seen this. I've seen this two dozen times before. They smoke a lot of spice, and they pass out. Okay, guys, here's your wide shot for context. There's the guy, unconscious outside the Halifax. And uh, it's a difficult situation for the guy. Who knows what he's uh, escaping from mentally? psychologically and the police cannot leave him to sleep there in case he dies and their conscious their consciences would haunt them and also professionally I don't think you're allowed to just leave someone like that on the street but one thing I will say is that every day the reason he's being helped is that he's outside the bank here in Piccadilly Gardens on the grass over there Loads of people ODing on spice every day. Even further context, we are now stood outside McDonald's. And uh, you can see the two uh, fluorescent cops down there. And we pan round. And welcome to Piccadilly Gardens on a Friday afternoon. The distant wailing of sirens. Sorry? You started drama already. I started drama. What are you smoking, young lady? You having a spliff? Is yeah, that a spliff? Yeah, I've got no, I like weed. Yeah, we are oh, why are you even filming? No, why is he even filming me? Hey, I was minding my own business and you, you, you no, spoke to me. Did you want to speak to the camera? Anyway, I like your no. high five. Can I get a high five? Why, why, Thank you. Uh, why are you filming? Because you're an interesting well, looking person? Being serious. Why, why are you filming? Why are you no, like, I'm half Brazilian, half Scottish. My name's Charlie Veach. My YouTube channel's my name. And I You're make- You're on YouTube? Yeah, I make money by filming <laughs> drama. Yeah, yeah. Guess how many subscribers I have? Zero. One. No, 161,000. What? Yeah. You'll get me on this YouTube, do you? What? You see my G? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Who? Yo, put me on YouTube. Who, me and you? Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a- Put me on YouTube. That's me there. Uh, where am I? At the top. 160. Oh, and 50. Uh, 162,000. I subscribe to you. Good. So you should. You're the guy that does all the uh, fucking tricks on the street, innit? When you go tell people to like go hold a balloon and that. No, no, that's not me. I swear I've seen you on TikTok. Please. No, that's not me. But maybe people have used my videos for that sort of thing. No, wait. Anyway, I need you to say, what's your name? Holly. Holly, can you say, hi, my name's Holly and you're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Can we get that? Charlie Beach. Yeah. Hi, my name's Holly and you're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Thanks very much. Enjoy your smoke. See you later. Come on, let's go. Take care, guys. I'll tell you what's hilarious. So, um, for context, let's turn outside McDonald's is that it's the best public toilets in Manchester. I was filming like, the blonde girl. She's like, why the fuck are you filming? And I was like, blah, blah, blah. And she was very standoffish until I said I've got 162,000 subscribers. 
And then she instantly jumped in front of the camera, started going, ah! Fucking hell, man. We all want to be known, don't we? All right, let's come around. Someone described my channel in the comment section as Moron Makes Video for Idiots. And I said, welcome to the channel. I think you're seeing that one, actually. Yeah. That one's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that group over there is looking a bit stabby for my liking. A bit stabby. Don't like them. Huh? I don't know. It's just an energy I get. It's like the drill music. That's what scares me. See you later, guys. You see, if someone with a guitar doesn't look stabby, a nice traditional instrument. There you go. Sorry? No, that's not my bike. Is it being stolen? That's very random. Is that your pavement, sir? Very random question. Anyway, see you later. Mate. Mate, I'm out in public. I'm just filming. Look, look, just filming. Not video me though. Why not? Well, I'll boot your hand out your hand. Bro. Me, bro. You're boot my hand out of my hand. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what? Bro, get the camera away from my face now, bro. Don't act hard, dude. Go through puberty first. Don't act hard. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, can I, guys. And is it okay if we? Yeah, yeah. We love that anyway, stuff. Anyway, hold the camera here so they. they... <laughs> God damn it! Okay, <laughs> you can be in it. So I'm here with a, a man with a lovely salt and pepper beard, who uh, <laughs> said hello. How are you? We love that stuff okay. on the subway, yeah, in New yeah. York, and all that stuff. We love, please. Thanks very much. Anyway, did you hear that? The guy's telling me to. No, we missed that. Angry teenagers. Yeah, well, there's a few of them. Uh oh! I hope those kind of. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I need. How much do those jackets cost down Berry New Road? Are you? That's a 20 quid fake. How's this? It's a 20 quid fake. How is this? It's a 20 quid fake. Take care, guys. Thank you. Right, let's come over. How is it fake? Fake jacket. Fake jacket. Oh my god, what did you say? Suck your mum. Suck my mum? That's disgusting. You just said mine's That's my new What have you got to hide? Me. Hey, I don't want you recording me because as much as you've got the right to record the book, I have the right to hide my face from your camera. Please don't move your hands so close to me. Come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah. Mate, mate, wait, what it is? In public, it's public. It's public. And you should not be saying suck your mother to adults. You should not be saying that. Anyway, let me explain to you. The irony is, the less people want me to film in public, the more I have to film. The viewers demand it. What are you on live right now? Yeah. Let me see your live, Sorry? I owe you nothing, you ginger, horrible little teenager. For the things you said to me, I owe you nothing. No, you, like, stop acting hard until you've gone through puberty. Don't act hard. Whoa, did you call me in? He just said F-A-G-G-O-T. Oh my God, homophobic abuse. I hope your parents are proud of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, once you've gone through puberty, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll deal with you as a grown-up. Take care. Look at the Louis V. No, not so close to my face. Not so close to my face. No. No, 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 no. Not so close. To no, you can't have your hand so close to my face. Just move away. Yeah, but I'm keeping my camera next to my own face. You can't just put your hand so close to my face. I know, but I'm not being rude yet, but have you not got a better job to do? Uh, no. I'll answer you literally, no I don't. No, the big question, the big, the big elephant in the room is, why do you as a 15 year old care what I'm doing? Why do you care what I'm doing? Okay, why do you as a 17 year old care about a man filming in public? Or you could be filming little kids, bro. You could be a paedophile, I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying you are, but you could be, innit? Keep on going, keep on going. 
I'm not saying. Anyone. Anyone could be a terrorist or a pedo or a murderer or a... Anyway. Because if you're on live right now, yeah, your fans are going to think you are a weirdo, bro. You're Trust me, they all think I'm a weirdo. It's How why they watch. How old are you? I'm 40. You? You're 40, yeah? Yeah. What's going on with you, bro? I know. You should speak English like a normal person. Speak English like you're doing this whole like urban like you're trying to act hard. Just speak like a normal guy. I speak like a normal guy. I speak like a normal guy. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. We've got 7,000 live right now. Oh mate, some Wait, wait, let's scroll up. Oh uh, mate, someone's saying they know who you are. What we live on? What we live on? Anyway, our work here is done. Thank you, officers. Have a good weekend. Take care, guys. Hey, little child, stop with that language. That's. Oh my god. I I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I, I'm I don't even know, man. What is that munchkin? Is it a boy or a girl? I can't even tell. Oh, him! Take him out! It's a boy! Oh my god! Oh, it's a girl! Oh my god! I I'm, I'm not sorry for misgendering you. Right, let's go. No, I'm 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 not sorry for misgendering any of you. I'm sorry. You're not sorry for making my mother what? Oh my god, the language these children are using these days. Yes, I am. It's why people watch. Anyway, I like your uh, side shave haircut. It makes you look quite... Uh, but, no, but are you... Are you a, anyway... I must thank them all for giving me content. It, you should concentrate less on piercings and more on finding your true identity. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it was a nice day in Piccadilly Gardens. If we turn around this way, we'll get a little you shot of the back. The one. Wait, wait. It's bye bye from me and it's bye bye from Aaron. Um. You're not just a load of kids, you're a bunch of adolescents being a bit a bit scummy in public, a bit scummy. Mate, I've been here two seconds and you've already tried to A bit scummy. Anyway, tag me as Charlie Veach, you'll get more views. Get more views, I've got more fucking followers than you, calm down. Get more fucking views. Just had 7k on your live, like 20 social. I'm trying to